Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Venus retrograde reading. I call it, we're talking again, now what? Everything you need to know about it is in the description box below. I have shuffled off camera. We're just gonna get right into it. Bottom of the deck energy for you Scorpio is the lovers. Okay, so this is somebody that well, this is a six, and to me, there's um, there's a strong connection. If not in this lifetime, there was one prior. So you're probably feeling this uh, connection to someone still. Might even have to make a choice about it. Oh, the reason for the meeting is love. <laughs> And your partner wants things to regress and happen quickly. They want to talk to you about stuff. <laughs> and they plan to tell you about it. But they I feel like they're going to be kind of subdued. They don't want to come on too strong. They want to. But they're just going to be very almost timid about it. Sorry. Uh, Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. Look at you. Oh, yay. And the outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. Well, okay, so I don't even need to clarify this. Uh, one and done. Um, if this person comes back, <laughs> because consider this is somebody that comes back that you're talking. If they approach you or if you whatever, it's kind of, kind of a. It goes from this them being kind of shy to I will be, what and how you want me to be. I'm going to take this at your pace. This is slow. It's almost glacial, but it is reliable. Whatever this person is offering, this Knight of Pentacles energy right here suggests that it can be relied upon. It's trustworthy, stable, secure, long-term thinking, um, balanced, it trustworthy. So this right here is, uh, it is okay to love. <laughs> it's okay to be emotionally secure with this person. You can, you can trust them. Um, I don't even need to clarify this. Like this is going to be the shortest reading ever because my God, Scorpio, the reason for the the reason for the meeting is because they they love you, you love them. The partner wants things to happen. They want to probably, if they had their way, they'd probably want to elope with you. You know, travel things happening with the quickness, things happening with the quickness. Um, they plan to start wooing you. Basically, they they plan to start pursuing you and wooing you. They're going to be discreet and subtle and, you know whatnot at first almost like timid but they're thinking they want this and they they want you they want you to feel safe and calm and emotionally secure with them and you can this is um wow so this it's almost like the the scorpios i'm reading for it either you're in a relationship and it's getting deeper and better uh it's it's progressing to the next level or you are you're reconnecting with someone that you love very much that you've always loved probably a past life soulmate connection we got the six here uh <laughs> wow pretty cool and this could even be they want to they want children with you this could even be they want children with you okay so uh yeah let's get to the first two weeks of <laughs> that's truly awesome the first two weeks of the Venus retrograde for Scorpio. First two weeks. So October 5th through the 19th-ish, give or take a day. Scorpio. First two weeks. Oh, so, okay, first two weeks. It's almost like, um, okay, so you broke up, obviously, because they're coming back, right? This is about we're talking again. This is... The, the premise of this reading is that you are apart from this person. You come back together because you do. This, wow, this is just awesome. They love. <laughs> so there's a breakup, and you're feeling pretty down and trapped about it. You're just like, I, I no, no, you're not feeling that. Sorry, wrong. There's a breakup. You're like, okay, I've accepted it. I'm open to, I'm going to release it, let it go. I can move on. I'm going to be open to new perspectives, change. I, I don't feel trapped by this anymore. I have good perspective on this. I'm not emotional about it. I'm pretty clear headed. I accept it. Okay. And then the next two weeks, so October 19th ish through November 2nd ish, give or take a day, we've got 
the lovers again. This could be Gemini. And clarity. You've got clarity about how you feel about this person and the decisions and plans that you want to want to make with this person. You feel like you know where you stand and you're clear on what they mean to you, what you want with them. Last two weeks. And here you oh my <laughs> Here you are working together. You might even want to celebrate with friends, but you're working together. And this is about things happening rather quickly, I think, and probably rather passionately, just saying. Um, this is kind of a excitable or exciting time, I guess. Things, again, echoing this could move very quickly. Maybe not even be well thought out. So it's like, hey, let's elope. <laughs> Or let's renew our vows or let's just eat. things happen very quickly so and it is you will be on the same page you will be working together this is victory and winning and success so Scorpio uh, if you had any doubts don't you're gonna be just fine <laughs> this is this is a great reading Wow okay so yeah this is probably gonna be done under 10 minutes you're gonna look at the timestamp and go why does somebody else get 22 and Scorpio's only got you know eight <laughs> well, it's because it's very clear, cut, straightforward. Awesome. <laughs> oh my God. I just can't believe that's just, that's, just, that's great. Seriously. Like, and it's not like wishful thinking, like, oh, you're hoping, you know, or like, it's not this, there's just, there's no drama. It's very simple. You meet again to talk about things and there's a lot of communication. Things happen very quickly and there's a, a new offer in love. There's a stable new beginning here. There's, there's, what is that new beginning? It's, picking up with where you wanted to leave off or like what it meant to you. It's picking up that thread and going with that instead of what it might have devolved to because there was a separation. Okay. So whatever the relationship started out, you guys find your way back to that. Whatever it was when you first started out, that's where you start again. Just great. Look at that. Knights. Okay. Let me see what two knights mean. Two nights. Oh, two nights is intimacy. <laughs> Does not get any better than this. This is great. We got two sixes here. Might have to see what that means. Do we have any more eights? I'm looking. Well, we got a reverse. Okay, two sixes is. Ooh, two sixes is irritability. Well, could be that you're not happy with, or you're kind of a little bit restless or like annoyed that. You know this happened or maybe you're you're anxious like to get things off the ground or come on already <laughs> could be a little bit of this right here all right oh forgiveness self-explanatory you are in a position you are <laughs> This right here is being um, emotionally secure and calm and being open to forgiveness and because you, you accepted what this was and we're like, okay, I accept this. I'm, I'm ready to move on. I, you know, and then it, they come back and it's like the future is just looks great. What a beautiful transformative energy here. Wow. Progress. That's this and this. And this is a great combo too because this is somebody that's just really like zeroed in on you, honed in on you, really wanting to pursue that avenue, but this is taking a very stable, reliable, trustworthy, compassionate steady approach to that and just very safe and secure and loving that's great that is great all right one more not that it's needed it's just wow hmm yay you scorpio this is awesome hmm Okay, this is about relationships, 
and interactions with others and relationships come and go you know reason season lifetime that sort of thing and they simply hold meaning because of the what you make of them basically they come and go and there's um there's there's significant in your life is up and down this as you progress so hence some pictures turning some pictures bigger than the other some pictures more the face that sort of thing this is a very significant relationship this is a prominent relationship for you if not soulmate past life connection the whole shebang um and this to me so all that meaning this to me speaks to the fact that this is a very uh prominent and significant relationship for you and it will probably be for the lifetime honestly i mean it just did all good things here you know this it, we got two people that are in love wow enough said right 11 minutes <laughs> just great okay well scorpio um yeah so i i hope <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the reading <laughs> how could you not right it's just wall of adoration right here. Um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, wow. All right. Uh, take care. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Take care.